Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and we're going to take a look at the new iRig HD2 from IK Multimedia today. Let me start by showing you what you get in the box, then we'll put it to work. Now, here's the new iRig HD2. It's a really well-designed little piece of kit. There's all kinds of ports and sliders and knobs, and I'm going to show you how they all work in a moment. Now, you also get a cable to go directly from this to your lightning port on your iPhone, so you're ready for the iPhone 7. You don't need to worry about the absence of the headphone jack there. And it also comes with a cable to go directly from here to the USB input on your Mac or PC, so that acts as basically an audio interface from your electric guitar into your iPhone or Mac or PC. But it's more. It can also be a virtual stomp box. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Now, it also comes with a nice little clip to attach to your mic stand, which you're going to want to use when you use it live on stage as a virtual stomp box. So let me start by showing you how the connections work. We start over here by connecting from this port directly to your iPhone or to your DAW. And from here, we go to a mini jack to a headphones. Now on the side here, we've got preamp gain control. And here we've got control for the volume of the headphones. But that's not all. This comes with a free, completely unlocked, unbundled version of Amplitude for you on both your iOS device and your DAW. And what else it does is on the other side, there's an additional quarter inch jack. You're probably wondering what that's for. Well, we start by plugging the guitar into there. Now here, we can connect a quarter inch jack and send it out to the real world. So you can plug it, let's say, into your guitar amp, and that'll allow you to, let's say, use Amplitube on your iPhone as a virtual stomp box for some pedals, and then route the signal out to a guitar amp, or maybe to a mixing board for front of house sound. And on the other side here, there's a little toggle switch, which allows you to send out the effects that you're getting an amplitude or you can toggle it to a through position where you're sending out a clean signal to front of house so a really great versatile little piece of kit it works at 96k and we're going to put it to work and i'm going to bring a buddy of mine in and i'll show you how it works in action i've got my buddy maury richmond here on guitar and he's playing a fender stratocaster guitar now we're plugged in from there with regular quarter inch cable going out into the new irig hd2 and from there, we're connecting to a USB port going into my iMac. And there are my nice new iLoud micro monitors, which sound fantastic, by the way. And we're going into my DAW, and you can see that the iRig HD2 is recognized as an input device. So let's put it to work. As soon as I connected the iRig HD2, it was recognized by my DAW. And I'm using it for the input here, but I'm monitoring through the output, and we're using the new... IK Multimedia iLoud micro monitors. So with this done, Maury, I'm going to ask you to just give me some signal. I want to adjust the preamp level. So if you can play a bit. Okay, that's great. So we've got an amplitude sound here loaded up, and I'll just show you what i got going on. It's basically a factory preset that we've modified a little bit. It's the clean tube combo, and I've modified some EQ, turned off the reverb, and I've got stomp box going on here with some compression we're not even using any echo although we experimented with it and just a really tight short little amount of reverb at the end so let's see what this sounds like you want to play for a moment okay great so i'm going to have maury lay down a guitar part on top of a little pattern here Okay, that's great. Now I'm going to just quickly double this track over here and or duplicate it. We'll turn that off and maybe you want to double it and try something that'll complement that. Yep. So let's record enable this. We'll work with the same sound for now, but we can modify it after. Great, so let's just listen back to these. I'll hard pan them and we'll see what that sounds like. Great. 
Great, now let's look at the iRig HD2 in another scenario. So here we're going from the Strat out through the quarter inch cable, plugged directly into the iRig HD2 again. And from there we're connecting to an iPad where we're running Amplitube and we're gonna get some processing there. And I'm running out now of the iRig HD2 with a quarter inch cable into the input on a guitar amp so we can get a real guitar amp sound. And I'm miking it with a KM184 from Neumann. And we're gonna record the sound from the guitar amp as it's processed via Amplitude. I've got my regular audio interface set as the input device now, and I've got a regular clean audio track set up here, and it's gonna record the mic in front of that guitar amp. So we'll record the Amplitude processing through the guitar amp. So the iRig HD2, I think it's a fantastic new upgrade from IK Multimedia. It's selling for $100, you won't go wrong. You got yourself an audio interface and a tool to use live for not only stomp boxes, but guitar amp emulations if you're going straight to a mixing board. You won't go wrong with this, the iRig HD2. This is Eli Kranzberg signing out.